the idea is to show the development of Picasso's art from you know the early 20th century to his last years in the South of France. But I wanted to tell that story through the women behind his uh, behind his portraits and really focus on them and tell their stories. And we see what Picasso saw in them in the portraits, and we can balance that together with the stories and their biographies and the insight on their artistic practices in some cases. We have Fernand Olivier, who was his first great love, and this is in 1904 in Bohemian Paris. And then we have a second uh, muse, which was his first wife, Olga, a ballet star, and he um, married her and then they had his first son together and, and she becomes this princess of neoclassicism, this really great almost stature in painting that he did of her. And then we have the third muse, which is Marie-Thérèse Walter, and she is the secretive muse, the one that was never in the spotlight, the one that nobody was supposed to know about, the one that he coded in his painting so his wife wouldn't find out. Um, and then of course we have the fourth muse, Dora Maar, who was a very well-known surrealist photographer and she was in this creative osmosis with Picasso and they worked together and Picasso painted Guernica and she covered that in her photography. And after World War II, we have François Gillot, a very young, beautiful French painter, and she lives with Picasso in the south of France. They have two children together, Claude and Paloma, and we have wonderful artwork, actually, that shows the children. And in the final years of his life, Picasso was with Jacqueline Rock, his second wife, and the woman who really had to take care of his legacy and make sure that his estate was taken care of when he passed away. And she looked after him in all sorts of ways. And she really admired him. She called him Masule, my son. And that really is sort of a great way of putting the, ex uh, the, the relationship between the two in a nutshell.